up, guys? <laughs> other entrance of Waverley and we're at our first stop. Joanna, tell us about our first stop. <laughs> we're now at the Marble Steps which are also known as the Scotsman Steps. Um, they were originally built in 1899 and there's 104 steps that are made, each one's made from a different marble from around the world and they take you from Market Street up to Northbridge. Let's go! <laughs> Right, we're at the top of the steps and watch this Joanna. So this is North Bridge, one of the most attractive attractions of Edinburgh. Um, this is actually the second North Bridge to be built after the first one fell down. Um, this one was built between 1894 and 1897 by Sir William Arrell and his co who also built the fourth rail, rail bridge. Wow, mind blown <laughs> by its beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, rumour has it that that bridge doesn't actually exist, so maybe by the time you graduate, if you're in first year, it might actually exist, but who knows? Also, a number 30 bus goes there, so taking the bus into town, make sure to stop off here. Woo! Right, okay, we're on the Royal Mile now with the one and only Catherine Murray. What are you saying? What facts Hello. have you got for the Royal Mile? So the Royal Mile goes all the way from Holyrood, which is down there, you can't see it, and it goes all the way up to the castle, which we will show you in a second, and it is not actually a mile long, it's one of these old mile longs, don't really know how long that actually is, but anyway, uh, over here there's like a heart on the ground, and you can't really see it, but maybe insert a wee picture now, and you can spit in it, because people used to be publicly executed there, um, and also that's what Hearts Football Club is named after, so fun fact there. Uh, over here is Parliament Square and a guy called John Knox who's like particularly influential in the reformation of the church. He is buried in a car park down there, so pretty lit graveyard to be honest. Um, and then this building over here is the High Court. You may notice it in like some of the news things, the BBC News if you like watching the news and stuff, like, I don't know. So that's all I've got to tell you right now, so thank you for listening. Guys, we're now about to get up to the castle, but right now <laughs> we're at Camera Obscura. Say hi! <laughs> One, go! What's going on guys? We've just come up the Royal Mile. Over there is Camera Obscura. Great tourist attraction, if you're wanting it. Over here, follow me. Welcome to my crib, Edinburgh Castle. It's great because at 1 p.m. every day, there's a cannon that goes off. Bang, you know it's one o'clock. Um, other facts about it, it's the most besieged castle. 26 times it's been attacked, still here. Uh, it's on a volcanic rock. It's very expensive, don't go inside it. Although, uh, they once got an elephant from Sri Lanka in there. So, easy days. See you later. If you carry down this way, you'll get to the grass market. This is called, what's this called? Victoria Street. Victoria Street. And that's Sion my Street. church. Right guys, Jake and Riley will hide water in there. And while that was happening, 
Joanna's dad was writing his dissertation. <laughs> right, okay, right side, Grey Friars, Bobby. What are you saying, Catherine? Well, see this wee dog, right? His name is Bobby. <laughs> and he sat at his owner's grave. Yeah. I remember the story of when I was younger and I got told it. I can't really remember it now. But apparently, if you rub his nose, which I'm not tall enough to do, yeah. it's good luck, so. Yeah. Get your good luck here, lads. But don't touch it because you might get coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> Next to Grey Fires Bobby, you have the National Museum of Scotland. Which Katchamari has what inside? Um, it's actually got a stone, but the other half of the stone is at my granny and papa's house. So that's a fact you did not think I would say. And it's also got a great view. Yeah, that's what I was meant to say. <laughs> There's a great view from the rooftop. There's also a great cafe, and it's just a fun place to walk around, even if you don't like the attractions. Yeah. There you go. Well, look who we find a wild catching. Oh, hello there. Where are we? This is Edinburgh Uni Campus. We don't like them! Actually, that's the way we do. <laughs> we love everyone. But this is Edinburgh Uni campus and it is quite a nice place to sort of wander around. And we'll show you the library in a little bit. And you can actually get a library card and you can study there if you want for the banters, you know. Although I'm not sure because of coronavirus, but you know, see, whatever. Um, I don't know what else to say about here. It's nice. It's got some, good, some good pubs over there as well. Yeah, it's pretty. There's usually nice fairy lights and stuff. Don't know what the crack is with Corona though. Like, let's see. But, anyway, let's do some dancing. Yeah, let, <laughs> let's do some dancing. <laughs> what? And you want like a Fortnite dance? What, what did they do? Like. <laughs> Where are we catching? So this is Edinburgh Uni Library. Sometimes I would come and study there, feeling intellectual. What's good about studying here? Um, it's quiet and yeah, it's just a different change of scenery, you know? Good vibes only. Good vibes, good vibes only. Studying <laughs> vibes only. There you go. So, yeah, this is the Edinburgh Uni Library, by the way. Woo! Right. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the Meadows. If you want a barbecue on a warm summer's day, here's where you should come. If you want a game of Quidditch, if you're posh, <laughs> <laughs> then here's where you come. Um, what else? Fun fact, this used to be a lock that supplied Edinburgh with their drinking water, but it was drained in the 17th century. And it's now the Meadows. Yeah. There's also an outdoor gym over there, which I've just spotted. Tennis courts over there. <laughs> People usually sit here with their friends, have cute little picnics. Yeah, there you go, that's it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Right guys, so now we're just walking through. Behind you there's like the rest of Edinburgh eh, and like Edinburgh Uni and all that jazz. Um, if you carry on walking through the meadow, that bit over there is like Marchment and that kind of area. This sort of side of town is like Newington. You can see Arthur's seat and he's on the top. Oh, cheeky. And then over there is Brunt's Field, which then also leads on to <laughs> the whole on the ground. Don't call it Hi guys, welcome to my mukbang, or mukbang, whatever you want to call it. Today I'm eating Sainsbury's ready salted crisps and let me just do a taste test for you. Mmm, good crunch, not too salty, nice potato taste, really like it. Right, Josh, what are you eating? Yeah, so I've got some the real McCoy's flame grilled steak. Um, like the packaging, uh, quite in your face, tells you the kind of crisp that you're going to be getting. Nice and flavoursome, nice and meaty, nice and thick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, great taste, great flavour, great thickness. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> right, welcome to the halfway point. Now going to pass over to Amy Conway, who's going to do a short talk for us. Take it away, Amy. 
Thanks, Amy. Great talk. We're gonna head right back into the vlog. Keep walking. <laughs> it never happened. Parkour. <laughs> the see you do parkour. <laughs> Mad. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. what's going on? So this is Brunsfield Links, which used to have like a golf course on called. That's why it's called the Links. We're just like at the edge of the meadows, and it leads up to Brunsfield which then leads on to Morningside. We're not gonna go up there, but there are loads of like great coffee places and good places, shops as well, charity shops. So go check it out, but we're gonna go the other way. Let's go! Whoa! Project Coffee, it's called. <laughs> and the golf course is closed, unfortunately. So don't go. Hey right. guys, we've just come down from Toll Cross, which is up that way. It has a very busy junction of roads, but a good place to know. Down Fountain, this way you go towards Fountain Bridge and the canal. And oh, what a good looking street that is. <laughs> I wouldn't be Edinburgh if there wasn't roadworks going on. And then on this other street, it takes you back into town, but like through the grass market, which is also a really good spot. And then, but we're gonna head down this street, which is Lothian Road, and it's gonna take us down towards Princess Street. Let's, Let's go! go! Where you're gonna graduate in four years time if you're a first year if you're like us we're gonna graduate in two years time oh my days what we're gonna do next but this is the usher hall <laughs> and this is where we graduate but more importantly this is nando's, Cheeky nando's. <laughs> on loading road and then up there's great the service flat. <laughs> let's get so her. you can just come and knock, knock on, knock on her door, her door yeah, anytime chat, yeah. if you're here and you need the toilet then you can just come and use Joanna's <laughs> Are you sure you're alright with that, Joanna? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we've just come down the bottom of Lothian Road and you can see the castle. Just to point you, Haymarket's down this way. And then back of the way is, um, we're in the West End and it's Princess Street down that way. But you've got a nice view of the castle. And we're going down to Deep Village now. And we picked up another member! <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> What's a relay worker? <laughs> well, I'm basically just working with you guys as a CU and yeah, helping you run events and reading the Bible with you guys. <laughs> Amazing! What's not to this like? is Kirsty. <laughs> we love her! Where are we, Josh? <laughs> We're headed to Dean Village. <laughs> Make a big tourist attraction which I've never been to. <laughs> I'm just keeping the camera on. I can't contain my excitement. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get his first reaction. <laughs> Get out of town! <laughs> this is unbelievable! What do you think? Uh, it's actually some, nicer right now. Yeah, really loving the walking feature down the middle. We've got some great architecture either side. The colour of the buildings really just pop. Wow, yeah. we love that. Uh, blown away, really speechless. Wow. wow, wow. Okay, let's carry on going round because there is actually more beautifulness coming soon. <laughs> So let's keep going guys on my work bike. Okay, see in there. I really hope people have got washing on their lines because it just looks so nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but it looks so bright. Look, Santa looks so nice. Like, why did you just walk past that? That is actually like one of my favourite views. <laughs> right, live time reaction. Wow. Look to your left. Just um, incredible. Where are we? Hi guys, <laughs> we're currently walking through Stockbridge, which is where I live. So if you're ever in Stockbridge and you need to go to the toilet, you can come <laughs> and knock on my door. <laughs> but this is Stockbridge High Street, that's the thing. And it's just got some really nice little charity shops if you like charity shop shopping. And a few little, cute little cafes and nice stuff. Nice cafes, yeah. For example. The Kilted Kitchen, which isn't open yet. Yeah, I've never actually been there, but I'm sure it's nice. Um, I really like a place called Cathy Gallo, just give them a little shout out, they're tiny, but they're so nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you're trying to achieve a hipster lifestyle, here's where to come. So it's quite nice down here, guys. <laughs> Hit me off and I'll take you here. Alright, yeah. guys. Carry on going up that road, you're gonna to get to the botanical gardens, which is really lovely. Yeah. 
don't go. Um, Josh does not like it there. He's never actually been, so he doesn't know how nice it is. But it's nice! So go. Circus Lane. Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's this then? This is Circus Lane. This is one of the most Instagrammable locations in Edinburgh. So if you are... Needing followers. <laughs> yeah, if you're needing followers or wanting to become an influencer and getting paid to sell hair vitamins, then um, just get yourself down here. Get yourself just a good camera on your phone and download the Visco app to edit your pictures. <laughs> and you can do some great pictures down here. Um, if you like the grungy look, it gets the scaffolding. But if you just like the sort of a nice quaint look, yeah. this is where to go. Very nice. Oh my goodness, guys. Also, on the top of your social media. Oh, follow us at QMU underscore Christian Union on Instagram and at QMUCU on Facebook. <laughs> And like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, folks. like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> Smash the like button. Smash the like button. <laughs> We're aiming for 10 likes Follow on this video. Us on LinkedIn, <laughs> um, Pinterest, Tumblr, Snapchat. My okay, guys. <laughs> Look at all my days, guys. This is not the nicest thing ever. That's like, I don't know what that's called, but it's like the Stockbridge Tower in my mind. So as you can see, I'm next to a giant foot. Uh, this marks the center of, uh, no it doesn't, it marks the top of Leith Walk, um, which is down that direction. At the top of Leith Walk, you've got the Omni Center, which has a Nando's, very important. Also has a cinema and Cosmos, which is a great uh, eatery. All you can eat, what more could you want? If you go down Leith Walk, you'll find Magpat, you'll find lots of attractions, including um, a big boat that lots of people go to, uh, Ocean Terminal, which is a good shopping centre, and er anything and everything, which is a shop that has anything and everything. So yeah, there you go. That's Leith. Right, on you go. So guys, we're now at the other end of Princess Street, which is just the long street down that way. You can see the Scott Monument, and you can see the Balmoral, which, fun fact, pop is five minutes fast, so you don't miss your trains. But we're gonna look up this way now to Colton Hill. <laughs> so this is the Nelson Monument, which is one of the many monuments on top of Colton Hill. It's a nice easy walk up and a great view. <laughs> um, and for other outdoor activities, there's also Arthur's Seat, which we pointed out in the meadows. And you can also go down to Portobello Beach. Lovely. <laughs> Okay guys, this is how you get to the train station. It's the best back entrance way, so handy. So when you've come back from Lee, carry on like past the Starbucks and then you go under that tunnel and you'll get to the train station. This tunnel was where they filmed Fast and Furious and they had a man jumping off a uh, bus on this bridge. What a fun fact. What's up guys? This is the end of the vlog. I hope you love seeing all the beautiful places in Edinburgh. We love showing you around and this is where you finish off. This is Waverley. You get your train back to Musselburgh from here straight back onto campus. So 